I am Sir Percival Bartleby, adventure extraordinaire. You have no doubt read about my many exploits through the hugely popular book series Bartleby Conquers the Wild Coast, which can be found in all reputable book merchants across Winter's Edge. As a good friend of the Lord Rulon, I had been invited to a wedding between the Lord's cousin, Duke Sol, and the much younger and very beautiful Lady Herring. The wedding was to take place in two days. I was entertaining the Lord of Ruland over a late lunch with tales of my latest adventure in the far north. I was just coming to the point when the snow trolls of Winter's Edge were about to ambush me, when news arrived that Lady Herring had just vanished without a trace. The court was in an uproar and suspicions of foul play and kidnappings ran rampant. I, however, am not so sure. My keen eye had told me that the lady was none too happy about the wedding. She barely concealed her contempt for the much older and much uglier duke, and even my greatest tales could not cheer her up. Indeed, she only seemed to light up in the presence of a dashing sea captain that had found his way into the noble circle by buying large shipments of rare spices from one of the families. Lord Roulon himself suspected foul play, and I bit my tongue not wishing to insult the duke and the lord and besmirch the fair lady's name. The lord then asked me, the greatest adventurer and swordsman that he had ever known, to find her and to bring her back. The noble court cheered. Surely with Sir Percival Bartleby on the case, the lady would be returned to them in no time. I of course humbly agreed, sure that the lady was making her way to Yore, where the dashing sea captain's ship happened to be docked. I should be able to get to her first and remove any silly romantic notions that she might have. After all, my tongue is even sharper than my blade, which come to think of it has not been sharpened in a very long time. I might even have her agree to some sort of tale of a failed kidnapping to save face, a plot of course that I foiled through some great cunning and daring. There could be a new book in that, not to mention a substantial reward from a grateful lord. I set off immediately by horse. I might even catch her at the halfway inn. It's a well-known stopover that lies roughly between the shanty port town of Yore and this walled city of Roulon. There used to be a whole town there, but it was burned to the ground ten years ago. Some say by a dragon. I doubt that. I for one know how a mundane explanation can get turned into a tall tale. As I approach the inn, I can still make out the foundations scattered around in the early winter snow. Angry grey clouds have formed to the north, promising fresh snow tonight. The halfway inn looks warm and inviting as the coming storm rolls in. And that there marks the backstory of Sir Percival Bartlesby and his reason for visiting the halfway inn. Little does he know what awaits him inside that lonely roadside tavern. And you also might be wondering where the rest of my art process went to. Unfortunately, I spent the last hour and a half accidentally recording the YouTube videos I was watching as I worked, so we only get the setup and the finished result. The rest, like this coming adventure, is a mystery. Details are in the description. And thanks for listening. Bye. Done, babe. <laughs>